Yes. <laughs> All right. Tell me, how can I help? Uh, what I'd like to know, Daniel, is about 10 years ago, I contracted a pretty bad case of Bell's palsy. Oh, okay. And that has, that's left my face, uh, half my face paralyzed. And yeah. I would like to know how to fix that. Fair enough, too. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm just going to do something. I don't want to put, deliberately put you into suspense, but okay. I've just realized I really need to have a toilet break. I know that's probably <laughs> a little bit too much information for everyone. Can we just have a toilet break so I can focus 100% on Mark? I'll be like, let's just have a three-minute toilet break and we'll reconnect. Is that cool, Mark? That's cool. Thank you. Awesome. We'll be right back. Okay, focus time, much better. Uh, is Mark there or has he had a toilet break too? Yep, Mark's here. Mark's here, okay, cool. All right, so Bell's palsy, half the face, paralyzed, we're gonna look at that. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so this often comes up in healing. It's one of the biggest obstacles to healing. And the first thing, Mark, that comes up is there's a part of you that doesn't want to heal it. And, and we often block healing our illness because there's some, we always have some reason that we believe is worth staying where we are so that's the first thing we're gonna we're gonna look at with you okay okay you're worried about healing it what i'm seeing is there's this fear of failure if i can't heal it um i'm gonna feel like a failure other people are gonna think i'm a failure there's something um <coughs> around what if i'm not who i think i am what if i can't do these great things for myself so we just need to get that out of the way for me to get a little bit deeper. So let me just look at that. Um, what you're feeling is other people's beliefs that they can't heal Bell's palsy or they can't heal that. It kind of feels like you've, you've had some contact with various people that don't know how to heal it and you, there's, there's a little bit of buy-in into the belief that it, it can't be healed. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's absolutely true. Yeah. So that's... that's it's... Um, it's funny because it's like if you believe it can't be healed, then it, it's very difficult for me to get to the to what the solution is. It's almost like pulling teeth. I've got to kind of go around this labyrinth of all these mind, all these little gateways that are saying, no, no, don't come in because we believe it can't be healed and we don't want that invalidated. So let me kind of just smash through all that and get to what's really going on there. Because that's a non-truth that it can't be healed. That's, that's other people's projections of their own abilities. It's like, we don't know how to heal it, so therefore it can't be healed. Yeah? 
I'm very glad to hear you say that, Daniel. That's yeah. that's that helps a lot in itself. Yeah, and that's what I was feeling. If if that's all I said to you today, that would that would be you know enough. Um, so yeah, so this double-edged sword. This the medical world's a double-edged sword. They have amazing breakthroughs at the same time until they realize something themselves. It just does. It doesn't exist for anyone else. It's just not possible. So it's it's uh, we got to be, be careful of entering into that little mindset. Um, so where are we going here? It's, it keeps flickering in. You're kind of teasing me with the answers. You're going, I kind of want to know, but I kind of don't want to know. So <laughs> Part of you doesn't want to know because where this is going to take you is really going to change your life. And one of the things you're worried about is that if I do have a big change in my life, does that invalidate the life I've lived so far? And that's kind of one of the one of the other blockages you're throwing up. So let's just bash through that a second. Um, the only thing that would ever invalidate your life is choosing to stay in, choosing to not realise the truth, choosing to not move forward. Do you get that? I do. Yep. So moving forward can't ever invalidate your life so far, but choosing not to move forward is exactly what invalidates your life. Okay. Yep. All right, that feels better. Woo, that's better. You got that. Happy to move forward. He's happy to talk. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah. Uh, let's go. What's the, the root cause? Let's go into the root cause of the Bell's palsy. It's a bit, to be honest, it's a little bit, it's a little bit subtle, but I am seeing a woman. I just keep seeing half your life, half your life. And I'm just seeing this woman there that um, did you did you divorce or separate or something like that or break up or? Uh, yes, I did. I uh, actually contracted this about two years after I was divorced. Ah, uh, okay. I just keep seeing this. Somebody took half my life away. So I, it is is the the emotion underpinning the Bell's palsy? You stole half my life. You took it away. Mm. Can you feel that? I do. I definitely do. Yeah. So that's Big chills. The, yeah, right. Yeah, good. Okay. We're opening up a little bit. You're holding on to that one very tightly, but you, you're making me work for my money here. Um, <laughs> so that that's what was at the root cause of it is you believed half your life was stolen from you and so you just seized up half of your face, right? It's okay. Just, and, and this is the, 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 the amazing thing. The body, it, it's not complicated. Like, it, it just reflects how we see things. It, literally, you felt that half of you was taken away, so that half is frozen and, and paralyzed because it was taken. You've got no control over it anymore, right? Right, right. That's exactly what your body's showing you. Now, let's get to some, what do we do about it? Okay. First truth, I'm going to give you a truth. The truth that you need to realize in this moment is that when you realize the truth, your face will start repairing itself. But it, okay. it, it, cannot, it, will, only, it will stay paralyzed as long as, your, my, as long as you are paralyzed in your mind. If you're holding on to the same lingering thought, and it's a sad one. If you're holding on to that, your face will just stay paralyzed. So you need to start going, you know what? I really don't have a vested interest to carry remorse or regret or disappointment because it's just hurting me. It's not adding to my life. It doesn't um, make them wrong. It doesn't teach them a lesson. And all I'm doing is paralyzing my life from moving forward. So you can just start really allowing in those kinds of thoughts, those kinds of truths to loosen your grip on your current position, that would be very powerful. Um, but the next big truth that you need to realize is that she didn't take anything from you, okay? She didn't take okay. it. It looks like that. That's how the mind reacted to it. Um, it's just based on all these other beliefs. But what was truth, let me get to the absolute truth for you, 
You gained your independence. You gained your independence. Okay. Because you were, I'm feeling you were starting to lose your true identity. You were starting to lose your purpose, your clarity, your direction, like decisions were being muddled and confused. You weren't sticking with your guns when you needed to. And independence was critical to you fulfilling what you really wanted to fill this lifetime. So as cliche as the next comment's going to sound, I'm going to say it, it was a gift. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the gift of independence. Focus her on that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. That's I'm, awesome. That's yeah, awesome. I'm, Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate you're it. You're welcome. I,